How effective is the Jeopard tank? Jeopard 35 um. Developed and introduced in the 1970s, it was the main German and Dutch low-level anti-aircraft defense system for the protection of armored units on the move and troop concentrations. The Jeopard is armed with 235mm or Licking KDA automatic cannons with an effective range of up to 4km and a rate of 550 rounds slash minute per gun. The armament, ammunition, and detection and aiming sensors are located in a quick-turn turret. It is installed on the chassis of a Leopard 1 medium tank. In order to effectively accompany the armored units, it was to protect from Soviet helicopters and ground attack aircraft. Confirmed by Ukrainian Defense Minister Oltsiri Stekov, the first three units of the 35 and Jepper self-propelled anti-aircraft systems have arrived in his country. According to the Spiegel newspaper, Rysnikov confirmed the arrival of the Jeopards on a Ukrainian television program, in which he commented that the first three units arrived to Ukraine today, along with several tens of thousands of rounds of ammunition. In total, Ukraine is expecting 15 Jeopards self-propelled anti-aircraft systems, Rysnikov added. The Jeopards could have arrived earlier, but as these units were decommissioned some time ago by the German army, there was no more ammunition in stock available for their 35 and guns. Eventually the problem was solved, as a manufacturer was procured to supply the Ukrainian Jeopards with new ammunition. The origin of the ammunition was not disclosed, but it could have come from Germany, South Africa, Japan, Turkey or, more likely, Poland. If the version of the Jeopard given to Ukraine is the one at will, the most modern one operated by the German army, it should be able to use the ahead programmable ammunition, which would make it an excellent means to combat low-flying drones. Something with more punch. In addition to the Jeopards, Germany would also seed an undetermined number of modern IRISTSLM slash SLS air defense systems manufactured by the German company Deal. This equipment would have a much higher interception capability than the old Jeopards, being effective against modern and higher performance threats. In 1973, the West German army had a problem. 49 years later, the Ukrainian army had the same problem. That problem, the Russian army and air forces very low flying attack jets and helicopters. The German and Ukrainian armies also shared a solution to this problem in the form of a tracked armored vehicle packing a radar and a pair of 35mm guns with fused ammunition that explodes in mid-air. The Jeopard, Germany pledged to Ukraine 30 of these self-propelled anti-aircraft guns, or SPOGs. The first coppers began arriving this week. Our capabilities to protect our sky will be strengthened, Ukrainian Defense Minister Oksiai Rizikov tweeted. The Germans, along with the Belgians and Dutch, once deployed hundreds of Jeopards. The plan, in wartime, was for the Spogs to accompany tanks and infantry fighting vehicles, protecting them from Russian gunship helicopters and Su-25 attack jets flying underneath the radar horizon of longer-range surface-to-air missile batteries. Most NATO countries disposed of their Jeopards and other Spogs as the Russian threat seemed to subside in the early 2000s. One exception is Romania, whose 40x German Jeopards now comprise a greater part of NATO's mobile, short-range air defenses. How does the Jeopard anti-aircraft tank work? Why the Rock's social media muscle made him Hollywood's highest paid actor? Cashless payments are here to stay. Here's how to determine which method is right for you. Flow and automation against the glut of IT. The Russian threat to Ukraine never really subsided, not since Ukraine began moving into the Western sphere following popular protests that prevented a Russia backed presidential candidate from stealing an election in 2004. When the Russian army widened its war in Ukraine starting in late February, the same old gunships and Su 25s flew overhead. The Ukrainian army initially lacked adequate air defenses against low and close flying aircraft. It's not for no reason that, 
when Q went to its Western allies with a list of weapons it needed. Shoulder-fired surface-to-air missiles were near the top. A soldier hauling a 35-pound Stinger SCM is mobile in the sense that he can ride along with the front-line forces. But he has to jump out of his vehicle to shoot a missile. That both slows down his battalion and puts him in the line of fire. A Jeopard by contrast is mobile and protected, as it combines the basic chassis of a Leopard tank with a lightly armored turret. Its twin ore licking cannons fire 550 rounds a minute out to a range of 3 miles. The three-person crew is queued by a turret-mounted radar with a 9-mile range. The Jeopard is an Su-25 killer. More so because Russian doctrine and the Russian military shortage of precision weapons compels attack pilots to fly very close to enemy forces in order to employ unguided rockets and bombs. So it was a big deal when, in April, Berlin offered Jeopards to Kiev. Yes, the Spogs are old. But so are the aircraft they are meant to destroy. The Jeopard still works just fine. It's a golden oldie, Nicholas Drummond, a British tank consultant, tweeted in reference to the Spog. The Russian Air Force already has lost 16 of its roughly 200 Su-25s in five months of hard fighting in Ukraine. As the Ukrainian Jeopards deploy, that number could rise, 